So that's the Winooski River. I guess it is the Winooski River. Yes, thank you. Which means wild onion. Yeah. Okay, so the first thing I did was what I always do is I draw that little outline so that I'm composing. Can you can see my cursor, I assume. So you so I'm composing to what will actually show um, in the map. Um, and I was trying really hard, like this, this is very close to a straight line. So I, I think I kind of exaggerated it just a tiny bit because I thought it would look better. Um, and right now I was like working on that bank. I thought if I could maybe make it not just a straight line, that might look better too. And so basically I'm trying to take control of the whole surface uh, right away um, and not get bogged down in tiny details in any one spot. And also, you know, th these are very quick drawings because, um, yeah, because I, I mean, sometimes I spend a really long time on a drawing depending on what the subject is. And that tree, that was kind of a little uh, landmark for me. My second painting of this is better than my first painting, I think. I, uh, I didn't record the last 30 minutes of the demonstration somehow. That was very sad. And now I've tried going back to using my Canon, my camera. Um, it only records for 12 minutes so that I didn't figure that out right away. <clears throat> and um, my strokes are kind of, are showing the direction of things more or less. And I'm, I'm putting them in those darks because um, when you're painting, painting is about volumes, whereas drawing is just about outline. So because this is a drawing to be painted on, I want to be able to see some of the volumes and start to set up the where the lights and the darks are. And also I can just see shapes, um, the correct proportions better, uh, probably because I usually paint. I don't usually just randomly draw. Um, usually my drawing is for painting. So I can see proportions better if I fill in um, with some shading. And I don't, I don't mind using my finger to smear my charcoal drawing a little bit. I don't usually do that, you know, when I'm painting, but with pastels, but I do, um, I do when I'm, I'm drawing. So you guys can hear me okay, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So I thought I would start with the blue part of the sky first the actual sky that was, and then, I don't know, and then I very quickly started doing clouds, but um, I sort of, I think I like to see how long I can use the same color, um, try not to get everything too broken up too quickly. And even when things look gray, um, I don't, I, I don't start with gray. I always start with some sort of color and I try to um, think about, you know, what kind of gray is it? Is it a violet gray, a blue gray? Um, and I don't, hopefully <laughs> I don't spend too long on the sky because like, I can't, I can't really tell. Like you can see, I'm kind of going back and forth making, I thought I made it too light. Then I thought I maybe may, should make it darker but until I have some other stuff to compare to the sky, like the land, I can't really be sure of the accuracy. So the first time over is kind of just a, it's kind of a crapshoot, you know, it's um, just a guess. And that's also why I don't spend too much time thinking about stuff, like which color to pick up. Yeah, I'm working pretty fast, but um, in the beginning of a painting, this is pretty much how fast I do work. Um, because by when you put something on your paper, then you can react to it. And um, thinking about it doesn't give you anything to react to. And the other thing I do is I exaggerate. So if it looks a little yellow, I'm just going to make it a lot yellow to start with. 
And then I can always um, calm that down later <laughs> or not. <laughs> I wish I was wishing I'd started with the orange. I do remember I did just did this yesterday so I can actually remember what I was thinking about. Um, I was surprised you started by, with the yellow because it's lighter. I know. Well, and it's more like where you want to end up, right? Yeah, exactly. Good, good point. Okay. <laughs> but I do think it's uh, much easier to exaggerate initially and then pull back than it is to start with an understatement and then try to pump it up. And then this is a really dark purple. So I don't, I don't use black hardly ever. Can't say never. And I do use it in painting because I can mix it with white. Well, I use paints gray. I don't use black. And the reason I skipped, like a lot of times I talk about how I like to work straight down, but I, I need I want, I felt like I wanted to get that darker color in so that I would kind of know where the mountain and the distance fit in between the sky and the trees that were closer to me. And it's always just, you know, your first best shot at it. And although color is my primary interest, I would say I'm also really thinking about the values of things here. And so that that was a mistake right there. I used that blue that was, I just have this one little piece of some blue from somewhere. I don't know what it is, but it's, once it's gone, it's over. <laughs> See, then it wasn't so bad that I had that too dark a blue there. I just, you know, I came back and, and I'm kind of trying to do my strokes in like the direction that I think they should be. So like that the water is horizontal. Um, And evidently I decided the sky was too light. So one thing is if you're trying to make like those, um, the little rim of light, um, you really have to make things dark to create that feeling. I guess I didn't when I look at the real one here. Beside me. In the end, I made the sky lighter than it was. And I also haven't decided if I was going to work on this another time or not. You guys can decide. And as far as like white goes, I try not to start with white right away. So I'm just using this pink. And you can see I'm trying to make the strokes go in the direction of the form. It was a great lesson I learned one day at Morse Farm so long ago of draw your strokes with the direction that the land goes. And it just, it's kind of magical how well it works to make the land look like it's falling in that direction. I did have a creamy this weekend, just to let, just so you know, a maple creamy. And I took a few pictures at Morse Farm, so we might have a Morse Farm demo. So any little light and shadow patterns I can identify, I try to, you know, I definitely want to start with those. Like on those little snow clumps there. So that's a gray right there. That is an actual gray. And water, especially, um, I just I always start it darker than I planned for it to end up. So same thing. I probably should have started with the red first. I don't know why I didn't. 
and it and it doesn't really matter you know you just you try something and then you try something else and then you try something else and can can i ask why why red i, I just is it just because know. it's a, a dense dark color um I was I didn't want to start with the orange, you know, with the lighter oranges right away. So I guess I just I just thought I would try it. And okay. I probably, you know, I'm working so fast, I don't really have a reason. Yeah, I just it, it never occurred to me to pick up a red, and I was just trying to figure out why. Well, it just might be random. <laughs> okay. It might just be that I couldn't think what else to try. And I said, oh, I'll just try that. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm sorry I'm not more um I'm not that methodical particularly and I know it must be frustrating. Uh but on the other hand it I hopefully it makes you feel like you have the license to do whatever you want. Yeah. Right. And I I'm not very good at that. Do do you sometimes say that the uh colors in the reflected in the water tend to be a little darker than what's up yeah. above? Yeah, that, so I say that the red is darker than the orange that you put in the sky. Yeah, that's what I was actually was trying to say. So yeah, but okay. I, I I don't think I really thought it. Yeah, exactly. but it sort of works that way. Yeah. Oops. Okay. I really am filming, I hope. I hope it's not just a still picture. But it seems like, Janine, that you see colors that we don't see. You see them coming forward in ways that we don't see them. Well, um, and it's brilliant. Well, thanks. You know, the, I mean, the, the, my main influences of teachers were people that considered themselves colorists. That was their raison d'etre. And so they, having them, being around them, um, you know, had its effect. And that's been my interest the whole time I've been a painter is... And so what I do is, like, if I just think if red crosses my mind, then I just use red. Or if, you know, I just, whatever just kind of flits by, I don't like stop and think, no, there can't be red in the water or no, there can't be, you know, whatever it is in the sky. You know, I don't, like I had that one teacher that had that rule. He, he told me, he said, never, ever use green in the sky. Well, like, I don't want to have those kind of things to limit me um, because green can be great in the sky. So, um, yeah. It's just it's just having a little bit of courage, I think. And then um, because I've painted a long time, it's a little boy, I was gonna say it was easier for me to have courage, but it also might be harder because I don't want to mess up. Um, but anyway, like with experience, but oh, but no, that's not right. Because you're sort of fighting against experience in a way all the time. That sky is so beautiful. Oh, thanks. <laughs> It is. I love it Sarah. Is. Sarah did a great job on her sky. But you'll see it later. But see, I'm a little like a little intimidated because I know that John could make the sky perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's in the back of my mind all the time. It's like, oh, he would have that shape. That sky hole would be the right shape, and he would get those little wrinkles in the sky <laughs> perfect and. Well, it's good. He's pushing different it. styles. Different style. Not to worry. Luckily, we're not all seeking perfection. <laughs> and I, I'm not yeah. sure what it is exactly. It's whatever's yeah. perfect for you, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> so it's funny that all those other times I was making the photographs out of focus so people could see them more like I was trying to see them. And this time I've got the painting out of focus. Oh, but but I think the camera might be better than the iPad. I just not I just not sure. It certainly was the cause of a lot of grief for me this last two weeks, three weeks when I've been filming stuff over and over. Uh, 
Oh yeah. And so Linda, Linda with Linda, I'll just give you the rundown on everybody why they're there are uh, reasons they can't come. Like Linda, her um, granddaughter is playing basketball and their games are all on Monday and Tuesday nights and she's a senior. So, uh -huh. yeah, so that makes sense to me, right? Yeah. Yeah. In the fall, it was Santa Claus's and now it's basketball. <laughs> her husband carves all these Santa Clauses and she paints them all and they sell them at the Burlington Craft Fair. Oh, wow. They're amazing. They're very cool. Oh, yeah. I actually went and bought, I bought one for you, didn't I, Grace? You did, because you're a very nice person. Yeah. I think that was like the first one. one. Linda. Look, I made that hill better, didn't I? Look, I put that purple on it. Um, So I am afraid I use purple too much, but, you know, I don't know. And so then when I did that, it made me think maybe I had my mountain too dark. And then when I made my mountain lighter, which maybe it's too light, I don't know, then I had to make my sky lighter. So every single thing you do, you know, one thing leads to another. So, and that's why later in your painting, as you get closer to the finish, you probably should you know, step back a little more than I do and consider your changes because of how it, um, how each thing affects so much around it. And I'm trying to, you know, make sure that line stays forward. And you see how I'm kind of working from, I'm not perfectly working from the back to the front, but if you, that's one really good way to get things in the front to stay be in the front is to actually literally put them on top of the things in the back which I haven't quite still wrapped my head around this whole thing of maybe that means the sky needs to be worked from the bottom up so that the closest things to you you do last would be the top of the sky I just mm. can't quite it's hard for me to make that switch. I'm so used to working from the top down. And I did my world's smallest painting now. I did a three by three inch painting two weeks wow. ago. I know. Oh, you might have seen it on Facebook, I guess. But probably when you saw it, it was bigger. Unless you saw it on your phone, it was bigger than it actually is. And I also can't really tell you, I mean, even while I was painting, I don't exactly know what drives me to do the next thing that I do. Um, I, I, it's just like all of a sudden, why did I think I needed to make that more blue in the water? I, I'm not exactly sure, but it, I guess except that it's something I just did triggered. It's intuitive. It. It's intuitive? Yeah. Oh. Judy's here. Oh, Judy! I was here. At, I was here at six o'clock, but something I couldn't get the station. So finally, I said, "Well, maybe it's six thirty. And I came back at six thirty, and I I pressed some more buttons, and here I am. Yay! <laughs> Hi, Judy. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's okay. I'm just glad you made it. I even set my alarm for six o'clock. Well, I I was here at five thirty. I don't know what I did or didn't do. Yeah, but now you're here. I'm here. I got my uh, Christmas card frame, Judy. It looks so cute. And my grandson just loves it. Oh, I'm so happy. It was my only art thing that I did the whole Christmas season. Well, I just really feel that you could make some money on these dachshunds. I love I know that everybody card too, Janine. Keeps telling me that. Well, maybe, maybe I will. I don't know. I wish I knew we knew some card representatives. Mm. I think you, I, well, I think you need more than one design. If you could just get them doing some other things. You mean other than dogs? 
No, no, the dog's doing some other things. Like a dog with a Santa hat, the dog with the pop hat, a dog with a, I don't know. You have to have more than one design when you present it to a card company. You mean I can't just change the hat for the season? Yeah, no, I think good one. that's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> change the hat for the season. Oh. And then you could do two two boy dogs and two girl dogs and you could do little wedding ones oh my god Think oh of. that would be cute wouldn't that be cute a new a new baby dachshunds oh, oh my god baby dachshunds <laughs> uh, <laughs> that painting you're doing that really changes it when you put in that dark along the edge of the stream yeah it did it, it? it helped yeah it took it right back well, and it's just, it's that same thing. If you want to have lights, you have to have darks. Okay, so here I'm like, okay, somehow I've got to have more light on the snow. So I'm doing what you're not supposed to do, which is use yellow snow. Oh. <laughs> speaking of dachshunds. Yeah, speaking of dachshunds. Hi, Janine, it's Barb. Oh, hey, you're here. I was worried about you. Yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, are you okay? Yeah, mostly. I'm not feeling too, too well. I'm sorry. That's all right. But I'm here. Yay. We're glad you're here, Barb. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm glad to be here. <laughs> right, now I've been looking forward to this so much tonight. Oh, there's Theo. That's Theo's hand. I Oh. Uh, the good news now is I don't have to crop it out. I just, oh, I also figured that out how to separate the sound from the video. So, all these exciting things. Oh, look, I think I focused the, now I focus the camera. Yes. What a woman. I know. Yeah, I think it's better than the iPad. I don't know how it looks to you guys, but it looks better to me. And I don't know how it'll look in the second generation video that I'm making now. It looks good. It I have a question, a technical yeah. question. Mm -hmm. This is Barb. Um, can I, I'm on the phone. Can I, I'm going to try to put it on my computer. Do I have to sign out first? I mean, leave? Um. Just turn the volume off on your phone until you get signed in and then. Okay. I think. We'll as see. As long as you have the volume on only one. Yeah. Then we won't get, we won't get weird feed, feedback and stuff or you won't. Okay. No, we won't. Oh, I hate computers. I love them. Look what they're letting us do here together. <laughs> you know, is that gray that you're using now? I think it's a blue. I think it's blue. that. Um, yeah, that blue. That blue. The kind of periwinkle blue I use all the time. Huh? That's one of the um, individual colors that I have to like purchase because I use them up. What is, what is it? Um, I think it's it's no, a Rembrandt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, that's it's like the light ultramarine blue, but I like it because it's a little purpley. Okay, I'm going to hang up and just. Okay, bye. So you see, I started it so craziness, but I kind of pulled it back quite a bit now. 
And I, I don't smear, but I use that color almost like you would a finger. Just kind of went all around with it. And uh, interesting way to think of it. And a you know a little tighter stroke than it was to begin with. Okay, my my computer tells me I can't use it unless I update the program. So oh, yeah, yeah. So try to do that. Try between to, now and the next time. Yeah, just join the meeting anytime, and I think it will. Even though it's not really going, and I think it will let you do that because uh, that happened to me too, and it's very terrifying. I'll I'll do it. <laughs> I think it happened on a book group night, <laughs> so. I kind of love our book, Grace. By the way. Oh, good. I I have haven't gotten very far into it. It's quite what, amazing what, writing. What, what, what are you what reading? Book? Um, we are reading Cloud Cuckoo Land. Cloud oh. Cuckoo? Cuckoo Land by William Dor. Anthony. Anthony. Oh, it's. I think it's on the bestseller list. I think it is. Yeah. <clears throat> my louise penny book is finally came in in large print in the library i have to go get it tomorrow oh enjoy it i can't hey, wait yeah try not to read too fast <laughs> no <laughs> read it out loud to yourself so it lasts longer I'm very worried about the left left bank. The left, oh, bank. left bank. Okay, don't worry. The left bank bank, but the left bank is going to get some attention sooner or later. <laughs> okay, good. I thought it looked <laughs> like it was falling into the river. Oh, oh no. <laughs> okay, well I don't. I can't see that problem, so I might not fix that. No, you will if you're if you're tending to it. Hmm. So I am trying to uh, make sure, like I put that dark line along the edge of the water, but I want to be sure that, um, I just also want to be sure that it's not so outlined. So I just was trying to soften it a little bit. And I'm trying to always figure out a way to like put in all that detail, but not actually do all that work. Impressionist. Yeah, laziness, maybe. Oh. <laughs> Are you going to leave, leave those trees in the foreground out? No, I put them in. Also, another thing I just, you know, trying to, oh, I, you know what? These, I did not put in these two trees. It's like I never even saw them until just now. Uh, okay. Oh. Just, I think that's a good decision. I just wondered if you were staying with it. This one I'm putting in, but yeah. yeah. So you can see things really get less dramatic here. So I guess what I'm trying to do is get that sky up to a position, a place where I feel like I can put those branches on and not have to just and not have to come back to the sky. Uh -huh. And now I'm just, um, the sky kept knocking down the tops of my little trees over there. So I just restating them in some sort of random way. So if somebody's got a lot of background noise, they should mute unless they have a question. I kind of was gone now. These colors actually that I got going here. I, that that's right now. It's mostly the paper you see. That's why it looks like it's such a different color than what's going down. But it's one of those purples. It's almost a gray, a Rembrandt. And so I started out with this with the charcoal to draw these trees in. And I just guess I do that because if it if I don't like it, I can get rid of it. 
a, a lot easier than if it's a pastel. And the thing I believe you never want to do is do this with a black pastel. No. If, you, if you change your mind, you'll be so sorry. Junk. <laughs> okay, boss. <laughs> only thinking of you. Yeah. And also, I just was trying to see, I get a little nutty here, but I just, how, is there any way to do this without just doing every single thing? Can I just kind of, anyway, I was just trying to be a little more casual after I mapped out where the, the biggest, um, the biggest branches were going to be. you can just leave it as charcoal correct Janine um well I never do I don't mm -hmm. so Ex what do you do what do you do instead once you go back charcoal? over it with something in a minute like a dark blue or the purple or the brown or some kind of combinations of stuff okay um hmm. the charcoal just doesn't seem like it sticks as well but i don't know oh this is like what is she thinking <laughs> but you judy. know just have to try stuff what judy what size is this painting it's 12 by 11 Six. by 15. thanks it's that half sheet of paper yeah Judy, the uh, Botanical Gardens here has the biggest koi fish I've ever seen in my life. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> oh, they're incredible. And of course, they come right over whenever you're there because they hope you're going to feed them. Oh, and I wish you'd take some pictures for me. Oh, all right. I, I have taken some. I'll send them to you. Oh, I'd love to see them. They have the biggest mouths I've ever seen. You don't mind if I paint them? No, I don't care. Okay. So here, I'm just like kind of randomly doing stuff and then i sort of got myself into a mess because i wasn't being careful enough but in the end i thought it was okay and this is that same purple that's almost a gray and one thing i'm trying to do is use a slight variations in pressure and you can see that that's a oh yeah see i just like i don't know i'm just trying things here uh, of just like scribbling and I, I don't I honestly don't know sometimes I scribble like right there those things I did right there it seemed like less than a good idea that right bank is beautiful mm -hmm. this right bank or yeah. that one? <laughs> right bank? yes oh, thanks of course it's not very big on my iPhone but it looks beautiful from here yeah, that's the thing because it's teeny but then you could watch this later if you wanted bigger. I will. I have to have my um, MacBook upgraded, though. Oh. Mm -hmm. I think I'm almost done, you guys, if it's okay. Yes. It's 40 minutes long, this demo. Mm -hmm. And like I say, I'm not really clear if I should bother to work on it more. Did you say you were planning to or not planning to put in the branches on the right bank? Of the on the right tree? side, I was. I never even, honestly, until Grace meant, or somebody mentioned them just now, I'd never even seen them there. Oh, okay. I, I like it without them myself, but because I love that bank and the trees beyond it. Yeah, I just I, like think, the, I guess I thought, you know, like this, I wanted this to be taller. And if these are in here, it makes the two sides of the bank more the same height. So well, I, I think for, that's. Except for the, the ones on the right are considerably no. lower. And to me, it was, I, I would just think it would help to draw your eye back, but maybe not. Well, I'm not done. I do put some stuff in over there. Probably but those trees are way. further away, so they would be small. Yeah. I mean, I know they're not at the same level, but I I don't know. I just left them out. Okay.
That's the beauty of these demos. And if we do it, we get to do it our own way, right? Yeah, yep. right. please, please do it your own way. And then we can see, and then we can laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I just have to say the right bank in the photo looks like crap and the right bank on the right on your painting looks beautiful to me. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate that. <laughs> You're pretty good at that. 40 minutes. Wow. I think there's just two more minutes or something. No, I'm just saying amazing oh. what you can do and what oh, you can do minutes. in 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, I've sprayed it at least one time. Okay. You did? I did. I had to. When? I forgot to put that in there to mark it so you'd know, but. That is the thing about being so reckless, you know, I, I, I kind of have to spray. It's all, it's almost like a reset for me too to spray and separate those kind of crazy layers. Oh, I'm looking at my attempts on the, that I have up against the wall so I can see them. And they look flat compared to yours. They look so flat. What you did some of this already, or no, no of <laughs> of the my paintings and of what different. Do mean, topics. What do you mean by flat? They just my paintings just don't have the depth that yours do. Uh, well, so, I, I am really uh, focusing on that. So look, see, I put a tiny fence in. Hoping I can't I wait till that. you come in person and we have two and a half days with you. Just two days. Oh, two days. Yeah. Which Saturday, days are those? Saturday and Sunday. Okay. I have a half a day on Monday. I don't know. Oh, do do we have a half a day on Monday? No. No. I have it in my book because I but I I wouldn't count on my book. I've been really out of it lately. I also think it's how she does light. Uh, well, one thing I do try to do is I spray, like when things start to, like I like the um, the depth that's created with the layers of pastels. So when I stopped um, on this, it's because I would have had to spray it to keep going um, because I don't like it when it fills in so much. So that's why I asked you what kind of depth you meant or flatness. I like the surface to have a, a depth to it also with the layers of pastel. Um, but you know, you, you I don't remember that your paintings are flat bar, but you can certainly just decide you're gonna create more depth. And because it's, it's not that hard, you just leave the detail out in the distance and you don't make the colors as strong and Okay, that, that's good advice about not making the colors as strong because in my painting that I just started for next week, um, I have a lake, but in behind in the lake behind the lake on the other side, there's a volcano and some um, mountains and they're pretty dark. And I think maybe I'll lighten them up and see how that goes. That's well, good advice. I'll try this darks generally speaking even if it's not true you want to reserve your darkest darks and your lightest lights for the foreground okay even if you don't use them you want to know that you could go darker all the way to your darkest dark and your lightest light in the foreground okay of course i've never painted a volcano mm. well and it's across the lake so it's a significant distance it should be probably lighter than it is i will work on that i'm i mean, just started it really so uh -huh. i remember to squint squinting really helps or you know don't wear your glasses or whatever it takes to blur stuff well when i squint i see that most of the painting is the same darkness so i think i better work. there you go I mean, I started it <laughs> so okay good Thank you for that. Sure.
Sure. The sap's running in the maple trees up here. Oh, oh my God. Oh my gosh. I just saw that on the news. They tapped it already. Yeah. Oh my yep. God. Well, hopefully the the hopefully we'll have a cold the rest of the January and February, and then okay. it'll be fine, but um it has to get cold. <laughs> I think we only have one, it's going below freezing, I think only once this week. Um, I was Every gonna show you that, yeah, just a minute. I'm sorry, I don't know why I didn't have that, if I can find it. Twinfield River. Nope, that's not it. <clears throat> sorry, I... Oh, here it is, okay. Okay, just a second. So you I can need, show you, you the, need to name it Winooski, Janine. Okay. <laughs> okay, just a minute. I'm just going to share that again. So, so that's that's how it looked when I stopped on it. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, so I know that if I was to work on it again, I would do something about, see, these marks are too evenly spaced. Mm -hmm. um, this whole edge is too much the same, but I, I don't know. I don't know if it's, and I, sh so I could, I could probably work on it another 15 minutes and film it if you guys wanted me to, um, or we just do it. I already have a couple other demonstrations filmed, but. No, oh, I, I like it. And so oh, yeah. I think it's enough for me. Okay. What else would you change Janine, if you put another 15 minutes in? Oh well, I would I would um <clears throat> I would fix these marks. Okay. Right. I would make this more varied. Right. The same strength all the way back. I would do mm -hmm. something about this, which is too repetitive uh -huh. shape. And um I let that snow kind of get out there a little too much, I think. But the thing is if I spray it, then I'd work on all of it again, eat for better yeah. or worse. So but now if I told you what I would do, those are the things I see. If somebody turned this into me, that's what I would have said to them. Hmm. That's too hard an edge all the way back. So I like that edge. You would leave the foreground of the river as it is? Oh, probably not. No, that's the thing. That's especially the river had I would have to spray the river to work on it. Mm -hmm. and try to I just could not um get that. Um, for just a minute, let me, I don't know if, I don't know if it'll switch over if I show you the photograph too of the, can you, can you see the photograph or no, you can't, can you? No. Okay, just a minute, let me share it again. But I saw it, it was mostly black and white and you just made it beautiful. Well, see that weirdness, the texture, I really yeah. wish yeah. I could kind of get that, but I don't really know how. Yeah. But Janine, you said you'd have to spray it to work yeah. on the foreground water. Is that because you have a lot of pastel on the paper mm -hmm. already? And because okay. I don't like that thing when it starts to get filled in, I like it to um, have that kind of depth of the layers where you see right. what you're showing. Right. And um, it won't if you work on it too long. So. 